local artist. Check her stuff out at Sparkle Bomb. She does some really fantastic work. Uh, and today she is wearing a dress from Milklum, which is actually a Fairy K brand from Japan. Uh, Galaxy. Uh, it's a really popular, I guess I would describe it as a Pop K, so like 80s inspired fashion brand. Uh, and her buttons are actually. Her buttons are made by uh, Japanese indie artists. The top one is by the artist uh, Shibata Megu, and the bottom one is by Rika-chan, which is also sold by this brand, Galaxy. And yeah, she just looks really good. I love it. Next person. This is Selena. They are wearing an outfit that is completely made by the Japanese brand Dora Honey. Uh, they've become really popular recently, and you can buy them at a lot of different stores. Uh, so the top, the pants, everything, I don't know, they just look so good in it. And the earrings are actually handmade by a different Japanese indie artist named Patorone Rirabo. And uh, stuff is all inspired by like science and computer, computer programming, that sort of thing. And yeah, I don't know, I love this outfit as well. I love everybody's outfits because I helped put them together. And I love them because they're all my friends. Alright, next person! <laughs> She's wearing a coordinate made completely of Liz Lisa, which is an older Japanese uh, brand. Uh, they've been around for I think 20 or 30 years now. They originally started out as a gyaru brand, but they kind of toned down more to make more like casual sweet himekaji clothing, which means like princess casual basically. Uh, her dress is actually from the autumn line and it's got like lattes on it, which I think is really cute. It says Royal Sweets Labyrinth. Generally, this brand is like one of our more higher end luxury brands, and I, I just love it. It's so cute, and Elizabeth suits it so well. Ah, okay, next person. Thank you, Elizabeth. Next up, we have my friend Vincent. Uh, Vincent's outfit is more of like a minimalistic mode kind of style. Uh, I, really like, I really like long silhouettes. So that's why I put him in the lengthier men's blouse. Uh, I feel like the polka dots makes it like a little more unique compared to like most other men's clothing. Uh, and also, I'd like to point out the necklace is <laughs> the necklace is made by a brand called Rara Circo, uh, and it's got little. It, it's part of a new kind of like trendy art slash fashion style. Uh, it's kind of called Manhattan. It's changed names a few times, but it focuses kind of on mental illness. But it had, uses a lot of like pill themes, that sort of stuff. It's a little dark, but it's still really cute. And the button is actually a collaboration that we did with the Japanese artist Karada Chiaki. Uh, she does really funny, great stuff. I've met her in person. She's really small, and I love her, and she's perfect. And she draws a lot of people like crying, and a lot of girls like kind of insulting other people. I love her. She's great. So thank you, Vincent. Next person. Next we have Olivine. She is wearing kind of a more pop K type of outfit with a little bit of fairy K inspiration. I really wanted to go with neon pinks and yellows for her because I think it really suits her complexion and also she never ever wears neon colors and I really wanted to put her out of her comfort zone a little bit. Uh, so the shirt is made by Milklin once again, an older Japanese fairy K brand. The shorts are by Galaxy, that really well known uh, Japanese pop K brand. And uh, the jacket is actually made by ACDC Rag. Uh, ACDC Rag is a brand that we've done a lot of work with. Uh, it's designed by a guy named Doi Rima. And um, this particular jacket is actually a Nameneko, which are like these cats that are supposed to be like gangsters. And they're like, in the 90s they were really popular, like 90s, late 2000s, early 2000s. Um, and they basically like kind of tell you to F off, but they're really cute because they're cats. So, I don't, I don't know, I love Namineka stuff. But yeah, uh, thank you so much, Olivine. Next person. This is my dear friend, Tony Barrow. If you happen to like drag queens, I would definitely check him out at his show every Friday, Oblivion at Bar Mattachine. He is wearing, <laughs> he is wearing a full outfit from Sex Pot Revenge, which originally started as like a popular visual K brand. Um, and over time, it has kind of like become more of like a casual, like, you can just kind of wear it out, but still look really edgy kind of a brand. And I just, like, it's like goth pajamas, as Tony just said. So if you like comfort and you also like to look edgy, I would definitely recommend checking out Sex Pod. Thank you, Tony. Next up, we have Paloma. Paloma's adorable and perfect. So her outfit today is actually a two-piece set by Galaxy. Uh, right now they're using a lot of like mahjong and like kind of Chinese motifs in their designs. That's been a really popular thing in Japan lately is like the use of like older Chinese motifs. Uh, and then she has a keychain here by Michizuki, 
which has been one of our most popular Japanese indie artists that we sell in store. They use a lot of like bondage type things, but like also a lot of like cartoony animals. It's an interesting mix. And then for her earrings, they're actually made by a local artist named Marie Nafini. They're completely hand laser cut and put together by her. And her necklace is also by Rara Circo, which is the same brand that Vincent's necklace is from earlier. And her ring is by Starmie Tiara. And she's adorable, as per usual, she's always adorable. Thank you, Paloma. <laughs> All right, up next we have Mandy. Mandy is wearing a full outfit by Moss Badger. Uh, Moss Badger is actually an artist located in Chicago. The dress and print was completely handmade and designed by her. She gets it printed, like the fabric printed by like a US based fabric manufacturer. The harness is by Drug Honey and uh, her brooch is also made by Moss Badger. She also makes really cute accessories. Uh, once again, you can get any of this in our store. I think we're the only shop that actually sells Moss Badger, so please definitely check that out. And yeah, Mandy looks amazing in it. She's so perfect. Everybody just looks so good. I just kind of spend most of my time just fanning over all of like the people that model. Finally, we have Kane. Kane is wearing a really cute outfit by ACDC Rag. His pants have little cats falling through heaven, and his shirt is actually whoop, a collaboration we did with Hattori Kanna who is a Japanese indie artist that does kind of more like kind of shoujo manga, like 80s, 90s shoujo manga influenced art. You can actually buy these t-shirts in our store and we're the only store that sells them. She says, amakumi naide, which means just because I look sweet doesn't mean I am. And her jacket actually says sugar and spice is, not, is nice, which I think is so cute. I don't know, we all, like all of the shop girls at our store collaborated on coming up with a design for this shirt and we really wanted it to be someone who could be cute who also represents like girl power and like being strong and we wanted her to be like a positive role model and it's been our most popular out our most popular item for sure and then we also have his button is actually made by a japanese indie artist named yuki yoshida who currently lives in seattle she's a very good friend of mine and she did this series of really cute girls based on different types of gems and the necklace is by uri kamapang which is another japanese indie artist who hand makes everything using resins and different glitters and stones it's just really super cute, and yeah, I think that covers everyone. What? The earring, oh my god, that's right, thank you, Kane. The earring is also made by Starmie Tiara, uh, which is the same artist that Paloma was making. They actually have two separate lines, one for darker schemes and one for more pastel colorways. And Kane looks adorable, as does everyone else that was in the show. Thank you so much for modeling, everyone. Thank you so much for uh, coming here and participating. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your time at Nisei Week. Uh, make sure to check out the snacks, check out the jungle booth, uh, and be sure to come visit us. I'll be working almost every day, so come say howdy. Thank you so much!